Edward Seacott, Joseph Jefferson Jackson, Arnold Gandil, Charles Risberg, Oscar Felch, Claude Williams, and George Weaver are hereby accused of conspiracy to commit a confidence game. Daddy, see the socks! Baseball, 1919. There were no free agents, no million dollar salaries, but there was a team no one could beat. The true story of the team they called the Black Sox and the scandal that broke the heart of a nation. Any bet against my Sox this series is a sucker bet. You can find seven men on the best club willing to throw the World Series. If she was Joey, I ain't. You want me? You don't want to be stupid, do you, Joe? Now, you just sign your name right there, Joe. I made an agreement with those guys. A couple of Boy Scouts here, they made a deal. The players are in now. What are they going to do, call a cop? What you get it off for, Eddie? Eddie can dump three games all on his own. We don't get Eddie, we forget about it. How many games does Mr. Seacott win for us this year? 29, sir. You said if I won 30 games, there'd be a $10,000 bonus. 29 is not 30, Eddie. I make the play. I don't feel right. You can't watch on these guys. They were an American dream come true, the best that ever were. Nine men took the field. But when the game was over, there were eight men out. What do you think of these players of yours now, Mr. Gleason? I think they're the greatest ball club I've ever seen, period. Don't you forget it. Eight Men Out, written for the screen and directed by John Sayles. <laughs>